Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys a design uh, decoration kind of thing you can do with a shikishi, which is a display board in Japan, uh, to kind of give a way of sort of highlighting or showcasing some traditional origami. And I thought this time around we'd go ahead and make something with the uh, horse and the knight and a little castle. <laughs> and uh, as we get close to summer, I remember, you know, going to the Renaissance Festival and having fun and just, you know, those kinds of things you think about this time of this time period and lots of the imagery from it is so much fun to, to play with. And I think uh, this kind of a project can be a lot of fun because the uh, horse and the knight of this looks pretty cool and uh, it's like a little weary traveler in some way here. And then I was just going to have the castle kind of off in the distance here. I have my board and I've kind of arranged it so that I've got this sort of rocky uh, mountainside here we'll have the castle up way at the top and then we'll have our little knight standing down here on the rocks trying to figure out how the heck he's going to get up there right <laughs> so <laughs> um what i've done is i've used mostly um taunt paper uh, this is actually some handmade paper because i didn't have any black that was the taunt paper but um just as a reminder you'll if you make the knight and the horse, the video shows how to make both, so you'll see the dimensions there again. But just as a reminder, for the horse, you'll need paper that's 15 by 15 centimeters. For the knight, you'll need paper that is uh, 10.5 by 10.5, and that's if you want to make it exactly like mine. Um, and then I used, for my castle, I used a smaller piece of paper, 7.5 by 7.5. Now, of course, this could be a thing that you can decide, uh, you know, how far away the castle is. You would obviously, you know, change the size of the paper you'd use if you wanted to make the castle a little closer. I thought he looked pretty tired, so I'd make it really far away. <laughs> But, um, and then I just use some handmade paper to kind of add the scene a little bit here. Um, and you can kind of play around with it and use other paper that you might have. But um, I'll have the links to how to make these little guys if you need to be reminded of how to do that in the description. So you can look to that to see what you need to do. But uh, I just basically tore off the edge of this piece here to kind of create this rocky environment. And then made another piece here to kind of look like a lower, uh, you know, um, level of the path here of on his journey up to the top. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue on this to put it up here. And I'm going to kind of leave it so that it poofs out 3D-like. If you don't like that effect, you can uh, glue off the edges inside here and have this secured under something heavy uh, so that it winds up becoming more two-dimensional. I'm just going to leave it kind of popping out because I think that kind of looks cool. So, But that's, again, just a, a point of preference for you guys. If you don't happen to have access to you know these fancy Japanese shikishi boards, you can just use a cardboard. You can use um, mat board. works really great, too. It's more the consistency than maybe cardboard would be. But I'm just going to put this little guy up here. You could make a more elaborate castle by putting multiple castles together to create like a bigger giant castle if you wanted to too. There's lots of fun things you can do with that. So I'm just kind of putting my little guy there to kind of be far away there up on the mountain side. And then um, what I'm going to do is actually first put my horse here. And you can kind of make sure you've got it situated the way you want to. I want my... night to kind of be something like this, I think, with his head down a little bit. And the ideal balance of this particular horse is between these two points, so you can kind of play with that a little bit. I'm just going to kind of find a good spot here to have it be resting. And I'll just get the horse down first and then worry about adding the night on top of this when I'm done. And again, for this too, I'm not really worried too much about making it so that, um, you know, the everything lays flat. Again, if you really want that to be something to have here, you can have it uh, smushed down with lots of layers of, you know, with glue and have it underneath something. But you want to make sure, of course, you do that after you put the night in here because he 
needs to slide in here. Um, and actually, I need him to go behind too. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue back here too before everything dries too quickly. But you want to find a good angle for all of this so you can get him to sit there on the horse. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on his other leg here so that that can kind of lay down right. Uh, so we have him kind of traveling then to the castle there at the top of the scene. So, um, and there's a lot of, you know, fun things you could do with this in terms of perspective and size and everything. Uh, that was just kind of my take on things. But I'll have some uh, more fun things like this to share with you guys in the days to come. Thanks again always so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!